Listen up. God, I don't know what dinosaurs sounded like. Yeah, I made a real impression on her. In an animated movie, we create the entire visual world. But we also have to create the entire audio world. So it's important to us, too, that we create a believable world with sound effects. We went all over the place trying to find any kind of animal vocalizations we could, from the most mundane to the most exotic. We actually created sound effects for the Carnotaur. Bo, my assistant, had gone to Florida. He ended up recording a lot of um, leopards, and this leopard really wanted to eat Bo, which was great because he was growling and snarling and sort of attacking him. Hopefully it won't scare people too much, but hopefully a little bit. You are pretty scary. For the lemurs, we have spent two days recording monkeys. So the lemurs are actually made up of capuchin monkeys, socks the fox, and penguin sort of trumpet calls. Sometimes you come up with, with some really wild sounds right at home. These actually came from my assistant's roommate's chihuahua. He's playing with a piece of cloth. He's, he's attacking it. Nasty little vermin. The characters have to really sound different. I knew that it was successful once we arrived at the sound of Ema, for instance. Played by Della Reese, people would hear that and they'd say, That sounds like Della. Well, you just consider yourself lucky. When you're playing a dinosaur, you get some strange directions from the booth. Remember, you're 25 feet long and you weigh three tons and you're in the middle of a herd running. Well, how do I do that? You just take a foot and press. You gotta think like a dinosaur. Better let me do the thinking from now on. It comes by pushing air and rumbling the glottis like this. <laughs> It started out as a little squeaky thing at first, but I'm good at it now. <laughs> what do we do now? Then I needed Foley to create all the specific movements of the creatures immediately around us. It sounds perfect. <laughs> You'd be surprised sometimes what actually you need to cheat. For some of the sounds with the tail and the slurpy sounds, wet chamois <laughs> and cantaloupe halves work really well for that. <laughs> Jana was the back feet and I was the front feet. So let's work together here, huh? A little teamwork. She used these boots that we call the pulverizers. I used baseball gloves. I don't know how they do it. It's truly amazing. But they got this very deep quality that sounds like a very huge creature. Not only does our movie look absolutely real, it sounds absolutely real.